with ISDS is its asymmetric structure, whereby only foreign investors can initiate a dispute. In this process, states can be only respondent, and more problematically, investment affected communities have no rights nor a voice. Now, what is important to note is that inv foreign investment affect virtually every realm of public life. Think of energy policy or of regulation of tobacco products. So this is an issue that should be of concern not only to international lawyers, but to all citizens. At the moment, UNCITRAL uh, is in the face of negotiations where they are raising concerns. So things that are not good in the view of many states in ISDS. The concerns that have been raised so far relate to mainly procedural issues such as independence of arbitrators or cost of the arbitration procedures. These issues are important, yet the question of the asymmetric structure of ISDS has not been raised as a concern. As uh, together with many academics, I have signed an open letter addressed to UNCITRAL Working Group 3, namely the group that is working on these reforms, to ask that the asymmetric structure of ISDS is taken on board as a concern. So what I expect from UNCITRAL is that states and the UNCITRAL Working Group 3 eventually will raise as a concern and will start to work on reform to remedy the asymmetry of ISDS. First of all, they should take into account what people think. People have been outraged by ISDS and have in many ways uh, uh, manifested their uh, um, disagreement with how ISDS works. There is a wealth of empirical, theoretical and historical research that shows that people have good reason for this skepticism. So what governments and uh, uh, parliaments should do, they should take uh, uh, into account these concerns. They should acknowledge uh, that there is this uh, uh, wealth of research showing how ISDS is marginalizing the public interest, how it is contributing to create grave inequalities and uh, possibly a degradation of the environment.